So, okay, at this time I want to give you the uh, new head coach of the Pioneers, Coach Tyrus. Thanks, everybody, for the warm welcome back to Wayland Baptist University. This is an exciting moment for me. I promise it to give you everything I have during my tenure as a head basketball coach. If you ever watched me play in a Pioneer jersey, you would know the absolute passion I have for the game of basketball. To be able to share that passion in the Hutcherson Center once again is a dream come true. I can't wait for the band, the cheerleaders, the smell of popcorn, and the cheer of the crowd as our team takes the court. The good news is there's no stipulation in my contract, as I understand it, where I get in trouble for having too much fun. <laughs> In all seriousness, I want to take this time to thank Dr. Arms, Dr. Luss, Dr. Hall, the committee members, the WBU family, and Coach Cooper for hiring me as the 12th head coach in the history of this fine program. Coach Cooper is an inspiration to work with based on his amazing career here at Wayland and at West Texas A&M. He's helping me trem tremendously as I transition into college basketball. I feel lucky to, to be working with someone with his experience and his knowledge. I want to take this time to thank my, my two bas college basketball coaches, Coach Jim Sagona at Collin County and Coach Todd Thurman here at Wayland Baptist University. As a child, I had great admiration for college athletics. Growing up, I loved to watch West Virginia University where my dad was a head women's basketball coach. Not only play basketball, but football and all other sports. Um, my goal, coming out of high school is to play major Division I basketball. And I just want to share with you how I actually ended up at Wayland Baptist. Um, I didn't make it out of high school. I wasn't the, I wasn't the greatest athlete. I wasn't the strongest kid. Um, but uh, I went to Collin County in Plano. From there, I went to Cameron University in Lawton, Oklahoma. And um, to be honest with you, I lost a little bit of the passion to play basketball at that time. And I called Coach Sagona back at Collin County. I, I had asked him if, there, if he could help me out at all because I wanted to transfer. Uh, Coach asked me to meet me in Lubbock at the Junior College Regional Tournament where Coach Thurman saw me and um, asked Coach Sagona who I was. So shortly after that, they invited me to come and visit uh, the Plainview campus. Now, to be honest, my family is still in Wichita Falls and I wasn't sure I even wanted to come to Plainview to visit or if I, if I wanted to continue playing basketball, I was studying business at the time. But God had different plans in my life. I had gone to a park to play basketball. It was a hot spring day. Um, and I was walking home and I was a little bit, I was wondering if I still wanted to play basketball, what I, what I really wanted to do. There are a couple other schools that I was looking at attending. And uh, as I walked home, I was just around the corner from my house and right in the middle of the street was a, was a tiny cross. Somebody had clearly dropped it or I don't know if it fell out of somebody, fell off somebody's necklace, or I don't know, but it was right in the middle of the street, and I walked over and I picked it up, and it said, Jesus loves you. And uh, I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go visit Wayland Baptist, and uh, maybe, maybe that's my sign. And uh, I got here, Coach Thurman gave me a, gave me a big hug as a, just before I left, or before I made my decision, he said, this, this is how we do it here. And, uh, and that family atmosphere is what Wayland offered, and um, I, was, I was all in after that. I was all in. So uh, I just want to thank my, my, my club back in Australia at this time for letting me leave with a few games left in the season and their tremendous amount of support. Uh, my family's here today. I think they're happy I'm home. <laughs> as big of a deal as this to me, I couldn't have done it with, without each of them. My extended family as well who couldn't be here today. Grandma Lane's here, uh, my sister Kelly, um, Brady, Parker, Allie, uh, who are all pretty good basketball players in their own right. My dad's currently in Australia, uh, helping out with the team that, where I coach as a volunteer assistant. Um, and, uh, and probably the most important person in my life is my mom, and she's here today. Um, Mom not only taught me about Jesus at a very young age, but she also taught me how to shoot layups. <laughs> I, 
that's not that one again for her. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's given up a lot of her time and uh, allowed me to successfully travel travel the world to play basketball, uh, much to her detriment. Uh, I was I was too far away most of the time. So. Uh, I want to thank Coach Garnett. Coach Garnett helped when, when I arrived here at Wayland to push me in the weight room, in the classroom, and on the court to be better every day. His competitive nature lit a fire inside of me and helped, molded my, helped mold my career. We used to talk about playing and coaching professional basketball and college basketball. I'm sure he would tell you um, that we had a, a, quite a bit of competition because we played a similar position out on the court as well. I can remember one time in general, uh, specifically I, I copped a, a kick to the face from the bottom of Coach Garnett's shoe. <laughs> no doubt he would tell you that uh, my elbows were up high around his head quite a bit. <laughs> Unfortunately my sister would probably agree with Coach Garnett on that <laughs> from our childhood. So. People have asked me why I'd come back to, to Wayland after making a home in Australia. The answer is simple. I love Wayland Baptist University. For the past 12 years, I've played and coached basketball all over the world. Hopefully, I've been an ambassador for Wayland Baptist. I played for professional teams in Italy, Germany, Finland, Hungary. And it wasn't always easy or the greatest situation. But because I was able um, to visit places, because of basketball, I was able to visit places that I, that I never imagined. My coaching philosophy is simple. We'll let the process take care of the result. In most cases, the players that, that come to play at Wayland Baptist didn't grow up dreaming of playing for the pioneers. You see, I'm not up here to tell stories about myself. The reason I'm up here is to recognize the journey, much like my own, that each player who we recruit has been on to install the passion in these young men so they compete every day against each other on the court, in the weight facility, in the classroom, and together as they wear a Wayland jersey every minute of every single game. John Wooden, famous basketball coach at UCLA, said, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. While I recognize we play in one of the toughest leagues in America, our goal is to win the SAC championship every year get back to Kansas City every year, and win a national championship every year. I won't back down from that expectation. I expect it from my staff and my players. We're going to prepare ourselves to build off the 2014-2015 success. Wailing is going to be a small college powerhouse where players that are serious about education and winning will want to attend. Finally, whether we exceed in that endeavor or not, Student athletes who, to come, who come to play for WBU will leave prepared to light the way and serve on their journey through life with a first, step, with a first class degree from a great university. Thank you very much.